Hey humans, Coach Nate here with another mindful focus to share with you. In today's post, it reads, To be kind is more important than to be right. Many times what people need is not a brilliant mind that speaks, but a special heart that listens. Know that we can be factually correct, right, and sincerely wrong at the same time. A hurting heart could care less about accuracy. A hurting heart wants to be heard, to be felt in terms of presence, to be understood, not to be judged, talked down to, criticized, evaluated. Given a questions interrogated, simply to have space, this heart held for it in a kind, caring, and compassionate way of allowing the heart to just be, to be able to relax, to be able to step out of the war, the storm, the attacks, and, and, and breathe. Crucial, depending on the level of and degree of pain that that hurting heart is experiencing. Kindness heals, whereas hate, meanness, judgment, and pretentiousness wound. Kindness heals. Hate, meanness, judgmentalness, and pretentiousness wounds. If you have a wounded heart, the worst thing you could do, someone with a wounded heart, is to show them anything other than kindness and compassion. Because you're, you're making matters worse it may even be trying to be helpful, but it's not. It, 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 it causes more damage to an already delicate, fragile state that this, this heart is, is in. Having book smarts but lacking emotional intelligence also causes more harm than good. You can read about it, you can have heard of it, you can have others have talked about it, but if you cannot relate, either by lack of ability, few people lack the ability, or by choice, the majority, people go out of their way to not embrace those very tough, difficult, challenging feelings, emotions that come along with actually caring cowardly and then try to package it as well that's being weak or there's something wrong with the other person projecting onto them what they themselves lack within themselves human behavior there may be a reason for why they're doing that based on their experience life experience their trauma response but it doesn't change the fact that it is damaging, not helpful. Uh, kindness can be expressed in present silence. Simply, simply sitting and in, in, in holding space and, and saying absolutely nothing. You can feel compassion in your heart, concern, putting yourself aside and, and, and thinking Concern for the other individual, and they're going to feel that, sense that, pick up on that, and that's going to mean more to them than any words of advice you can offer, and will hopefully, will will most certainly, not hopefully, prevent further damage by your 
words that are not helpful. Again, falling into the lack of caring, apathy, judgment, ignorance on in terms of what they are experiencing and what they're going through. So in, in terms of the how of the let go, live now, when, lead with your heart to hear the pain of the wounded. Lead with your heart in order to hear the pain of the wounded. Be quick to open your heart and your arms and slow to open your mouth. Be quick to open your heart and your arms and slow to open your mouth. When you're dealing with somebody who is in a fragile state, who is in a wounded state, who is in a painful state, what you're, you're gentle. Someone broke a limb or they suffered some type of an injury, you are what? Careful to, to, in, to, to make sure that we don't cause further wounds and, and in the process of administering help. Uh, first aid, trying to make them more comfortable, trying to prevent things from getting out of hand where it becomes critical or even fatal, those same things that function in the physical are also true in the mental. We don't know what a person's capacity or ability to deal with the challenges that they're facing. And sometimes it could just take very little to push them over the edge. Sometimes, sometimes just apathy, just not caring. You don't have to do anything, but not doing something can have a long-term lasting effect on the other individual, causing deep wounds. They understand the wounded heart of an individual. May not wanna hear what it is that you wanna say just because you wanna say it. That's you. That's you thinking of you. Well, I want to say this, so I think I need to. They could probably care less. So when we're going through that, what is it that's going to help them? Not help us. Oh, I'm going to feel better if I share this. Well, good for you. Go find a rabbit, tell it to the rabbit, and let it go in the field. We have been given one mouth and two ears because we are supposed to listen twice as much as we talk. If, if, you, if you're looking for an indication, if you're saying, how am I managing this? There, there, there's simple math. Listen twice as much as you talk. And the chances of you then providing a healing presence, somebody there just to care, you know, this is a, an expression from the inside that is conveyed through a genuine kindness, caring, apathy, lacking in judgment, condemnation, critical, what well, you shouldn't have. Miss, miss the hurting person with all of that nonsense and simply be there to hold space, to show that you care, to show that they matter. And understand that kindness is free. It doesn't require years of learning and advanced education. Kids, little children are capable and very good at it. Perhaps if you're struggling with the ability to do that, find your inner child and allow that inner child to show kindness to a hurting heart. Just sharing some insights with you. Feel free to try them or toss them. Both of those can be correct answers, which one, however, is something only you can determine for yourself. If this resonates with you, feel free to give a like and uh, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I post additional content like this. And feel free to share it with someone else who you feel might benefit from it. And as always, remember to let go, live now, and win.